Hi, I am Dev Gosain, Head of the Science Department at Naprima College. I decided to do a little video presentation on optimizing your Wi-Fi or internet signals while we conduct online classes. Now, why have I chosen this topic? Well, the thing is that ever since uh, many years ago, I'd started doing online classes and uh, more so during COVID-19 since its inception in March of 2020. And what I've noticed is that, you know, during a class, you would see many students drop off, they reconnect. And I realized that, you know, we tend to take the Wi-Fi in our homes, wherever we are, for granted. We think that we have a router, um, it's connected to the internet, and like God, it's omnipresent and uh, we should get this signal anywhere we are in this home. Well, actually, that is not the case all the time. And today we're going to look at some of the things that will affect our, our Wi-Fi signal while we are at home. We need to optimize it. We need to maximize that signal because it is our lifeblood, it is our lifeline to continuous learning. So let me now move into a little presentation, a very short presentation, which will explain some of the things that we should be doing, some of the practices we should be adopting to ensure we have a good, stable, reliable Wi-Fi signal as we learn. So let us start by doing a little internet speed test. And from your browser, either from your smartphone or from your computer, Go to the site fast.com, give it a couple of seconds, and it will report your internet speed where you are right now. So I will give it a couple of seconds, and you should get a speed coming up just about now. Right. So what that will do now, we will have an idea of what our connection is like. Typically, if you're under 20 megabits per second, you may have some issues with your speed. So now that we know what the internet speed is like where we are, let's try to understand some of the conditions of some of the factors that will affect this internet speed. If we were to look at our homes, now sometimes when we have, uh, you know, we apply for service, internet service, the guys will come into our homes and they will install the Wi-Fi, they will install the router, the access point, whatever it is they install. And they walk in downstairs and they install the stuff. But the thing is that we have our signal, our bedroom, our study might be upstairs and so on. But if you had to look at a typical topography of telecommunication, notice that the highest point, normally repeaters and cell towers and so on, are usually well elevated and uh, the subscribers are usually lower at a lower elevation than many of these antenna structures. So it means therefore that we need to have our router and access point. If you have a, a two-story two building, a dwelling, our router access point should be located at the upper level. If it has to service or serve the entire home. So this is the first point. Location of your router or access point should be at the highest point possible. So now let's look at a typical home. So this is the typical home. Uh, this might be the front door. The guys would come in, they would install the router maybe here, your router access point at this point. And uh, your study might be located here, your bedroom might be located here, and you'll find that there are many things that will affect that signal as it traverses your home. You will have to have, uh, you'll have, look at these number of walls that have been, that uh, the signal has to penetrate. You have a number of, we have a floor and walls to get to you. And all these factors would attenuate or reduce the signal that you will get. So a good test 
what I usually tell students, wherever you are, you are located in your home, do a speed test using fast.com. And then go to where the router is located and do another speed test using fast.com. And if you notice, there's a big disparity between the two speeds. Typically, you'd want you'd want a speed of more than 20 megabits per second for a reliable connection to your online learning. Okay? So if you're getting less than that, then chances are you might be in the wrong location, meaning that you should try to move closer to your router. Okay? So if your router is here and you are here, then either get the router close to you or you can probably study, move your work area close to the router. Of course, ideally, as we said before, this router access point should be located somewhere upstairs. And that way, you have a better distribution of the signal throughout your home. Another factor that affects your speed is the type of router that you would have. Now, every router or access point actually have two modems in there and they transmit on two different frequencies. Um, some of the more modern ones have a dual, dual modem. So there's a 2.4 gigahertz modem and a 5 gigahertz modem. Now I'll compare both of them in terms of speed. If you look at the speed, you'll realize the 5 gigahertz modem is a lot faster than the 2.4 gigahertz. However, the 2.4 gigahertz, notice it tends to get congested. It's not good for large volumes of data. So it gets congested quite easily. So you find that the, the rate of data transfer is not very high. Whereas with a 5 gigahertz modem, it does not get congested. It can handle quite a lot more traffic compared to the 2.4 gigahertz. Now, the range, the 2.4 gigahertz has a very long range, but like I said, it can't handle much traffic and its speed is pretty low compared to the 5 gigahertz modem. Now, I should mention here that this 5G or 5 gigahertz is not the one that they're bandied about that, that causes COVID-19. So let me clear that one time. That do happen with your router at home. All right, so enough on that. Um, penetration, the 2.4 gigahertz has very good penetration. So you might be able to get a signal far from your router, but like I said, the speed is going to be very low. It's going to get very congested quite quickly. Wall penetration is very poor with your 5G or 5 gigahertz modem. And of course, if you have to look at the Wi-Fi standard, if you check under your router to know if you have a 5 gigahertz, you will see 802.11ac or just AC. And whereas the 2.4 gigahertz is 802.11n, okay? So these are the Wi-Fi standards that will tell you which router you have. So putting them together now, we are seeing that, um, you know, for a 2.4 gigahertz, you might have a 2.4 gigahertz here. You will be able to access that in the extremities of your home, but the data transfer is going to be pretty low. Okay, your 5G network will have much higher data transfer rates. However, you will not be able to access your 5G modem very far from the modem itself. You will have to come closer to get higher speeds. So I sincerely hope that this short video presentation helps you in trying to optimize your Wi-Fi signals in your home as we all attempt to beat COVID-19 and not have it prevent us from learning and achieving what we can achieve to become full citizens of our beautiful country. Thank you very much for viewing.